Hello, good morning, Year 8. Welcome to your fourth lesson on the Civil Rights Movement. Your inquiry question is, why has Robert F. Williams been forgotten? Make sure you write down the title, uh, which is, what was more effective in challenging segregation, nonviolent direct action or armed self-defense? Okay. Uh, now, I want you to have a look at this image. This is an image from the Deep South in the 1960s. Uh, uh, have a look at it, see what you think is going on. Uh, obviously, it must be some sort of protest, or it could be. Uh, write a couple of sentences explaining what you think is happening in this image. Pause the video and answer the question. All right, so you can see there what is happening, quite shocking. Um, and it gives us an impression of what sort of things that the protesters could expect when they try to desegregate public facilities uh, in, in the southern states. Uh, so this is in Mississippi. You can see there the hotel manager is pouring acid in his pool uh, after protesters try to enforce their legal right to swim in a desegregated swimming pool. All right. Now, what does this picture suggest about the chances of success for nonviolent protests in the Deep South? So pause the video and answer that question. All right, now what I want you to do is to open up the uh, YouTube video uh, for this lesson. It's Year 8, Dr. Martin Luther King. And... Um, and you can see there, it's about four minutes long, um, and this is one of the key things that he says, but listen to the section of the interview. Um, why did some people argue that King was soft? How did he defend against that? Well, a couple of sentences answering this question here. All right, next, um, this is obviously that key quote, and it's a big part of his philosophy, and this is where he says, greater tyrants than southern segregation, people that supported segregation in the south, have been defeated by nonviolent action. And what he's referring to there is Gandhi, who is his hero, uh, who used nonviolent action to remove uh, the British from India. Um, now, why might Dr. King's nonviolent resistance change the approach of some reasonable supporters of segregation? Now, by Reasonable, I mean, there is, of course, not everyone who supported segregation in, in the South was a, you know, fire-breathing, evil, demonic being. You know, some of them just, you know, supported it because that was the way of life and they could be persuaded to support another more equal um, social order in the South. Why do you think King's approach might help to convince some of those uh, supporters of segregation to accept the end of segregation, right? So look at what he says and what he believes. Why might that help convince some of the um, less angry supporters of segregation? All right, now have a look at Robert F. Williams's philosophy, right? We're very familiar with the sorts of things that he believed and said. Um, just think about these two questions, right? Why would Williams take such a different view to Martin Luther King? And I think back to last lesson as well, the things he'd witnessed, the sort of environment he inhabited, right? Um, and then could Dr. King's approach work in Monroe, North Carolina? Finally, and I want you to take some time over this, this is an extended writing task and this is really what you're going to be assessed on for this lesson. Um, the two quotes, Robert F. Williams and Dr. King side by side, all right? Um, and choose a question based on your confidence with the task. So standard question, explain why Robert F. Williams argued that self-defense was important for the African-American people in the civil rights struggle in Monroe, North Carolina. You should refer to actual events that happened there in the 1950s. Super, explain why Dr. King and Robert F. Williams disagreed about the best way for African-Americans to challenge segregation in the civil rights movement. Uh, refer to Monroe, especially at the end of last lesson where we saw that it was very much a tinderbox, a, a, a powder keg waiting to explode all right so write down your work either in your books or on word take a picture or upload it to the assignment for today's lesson all right good luck